moving on to the next section, which is around engagement from across members of the methods community. And the first question that we had submitted was, how can we keep engagement with the methods groups and methods community and not risk losing them? Um, I think one of the one of the main avenues that we have at the moment, particularly as we're going through a time of change uh, where there might be developments, there might be opportunities that arise you know, for the in the months and years going forward, is that we do really advise anyone who's interested in staying up to date to sign up to the Methods Network newsletter. I think that's going to be um, uh, a key way to stay involved and to, to stay up to date with what those opportunities might be. So I've put a link in the chat um, as as in case you are interested in that. Okay, second question. How will methods, how will expert methods input, so search, statistical and other, into review production and editorial be accounted for or awarded? Will this be counted for group statistics performance or for a personal membership? Is there a number of peer reviews that are needed to be conducted per year? And for this one, I'm going to hand over to Ursula. Hi everyone. Um, for anybody who doesn't know me, I'm Ursula Gontier, the Membership and Support Manager, and I lead the Cochrane Support Team on the Support Help Desk and also look after the Cochrane Membership Scheme. Um, so the Cochrane Membership Scheme credits all kinds of contribution to Cochrane's work, including um, expert review. Um, and you can see your contributions, your peer review contributions in your Cochrane account profile. Each contribution will earn you points towards your Cochrane membership. So there's no particular number of reviews that you need to complete in a year, um, but you get points for every review you complete. Um, to break it down, the threshold for a 12 month Cochrane membership is 1000 membership points and one peer review task would earn you 500 points. So effectively, if you're doing two peer reviews a year, then your membership will be continuously renewed. If you're a methods group convener, then you'll have role based membership um, anyway, thanks to your role, and that will last for the duration of your role. And if you get authorship credit on any reviews, then that will also count towards membership as well. Um, Helen was mentioning earlier the um, discussions around creating an associate editor board, and there are some incentives being discussed with the editorial board for joining this, which could include title and a formal affiliation with Cochrane that would be publicised on the website, potential training opportunities in the editorial process, um, opportunities for mentorship, and this is alongside Cochrane membership points. So this is still to be confirmed, but there was enthusiasm for the editorial board around that. And if you've got any questions about membership or engagement, then please do get in touch with um, support and we can answer any questions. I'll put our email in the chat as well. Perfect. Thank you very much. And I've also um, popped into a, the chat a web form that we had open ahead of this webinar um, that we will keep open going forward so that if you have any additional questions or feedback, you can use that to get in touch. Um, it also asks for anyone with methods expertise in search statistical or other methods, um, methods expertise, um, to, you, you can fill that and you can, can, you can let us know um, in what ways you want to um, remain involved in Cochrane and what your preferences would be in terms of what would attract you to, to, to those roles and responsibilities. So just trying to, you know, collate um, feedback um, from, from you all um, to inform our plans going forward. So please do um, complete that web form if you have a chance. Okay, and so moving on to the next question, which is what is the future role of the Cochrane Information Specialist Executive and Methods Executive? So handing over to Ruth. Thanks again, Ella. So changes to review groups in the new model uh, do uh, have the potential to make some executives redundant. So uh, executives that are closely associated with review groups. So that's uh, execs like managing execs or information specialists. And if not redundant, then certainly they perhaps won't look the way that those CRG execs look now. Um, and as a result of this, um, you know, trans transformative change, 
a governance review is planned uh, that will examine the future role of those executives, also the council and the editorial board. And as part of that, uh, the results uh, the, the results of that review um, will lead to recommendations being made to the governing board and perhaps to update terms of those committees or groups or whatever might replace them. Um, that will foundation paper. So that's a separate piece of work happening in parallel with the implementation of the future evidence synthesis program of work. Thanks, Ruth. Um, and it's also worth mentioning that with the, um, as we mentioned before, there are no plans to change the methods groups, so that there are no plans to change the methods executive and how that functions. Um, there's one other, there's an, one other um, kind of, I guess, update on how we hope to um, keep members of our methods community engaged with Cochrane. And that is that um, we'll soon be announcing a, uh, a new Cochrane open access journal. And that journal as part of its um, scope is going to consider methods research. Um, so methods research on evidence synthesis and, and best practice and best standards. So that as well is gonna be a really key, um, a key way um, for, for us to engage and for the, the community to engage with Cochrane going forward. Jane, any questions? Um, no, none, no more at the moment. Um, what I would add though to the discussion is, is that I make the link between the methods executive and the editorial board. So it's my role to make sure that methods issues are raised and are prominent within um, all the discussions with the editorial board. And so, um, you know, if there is a method implication, um, then I will raise it and I feed it back to the methods executive. So if anybody do, does want to raise anything with me, they can do so directly and I, I'll make sure that those concerns are raised on your behalf and I'll put my email address in the chat um, and do feel free everybody to contact me directly. Um, of course the methods executive represents all the methods groups but there are a wider group of methodologists, we understand that in Cochrane, um, who, who may well have concerns about their roles looking forward and I, I also represent your views to make sure that they are linked into the developments with the editorial board. Um, I think somebody, I think uh, Ursula put in the chat, um, you can check your Cochrane member status and contributions um, and check your Cochrane account. It's quite interesting to, to look at what, what you've done, what points you've achieved over, over the sort of years and how you can um, increase your profile to have um, more of a profile in, in Cochrane. Um, it's, 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 it's a, 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 an in, a very good membership scheme in terms of building a profile for promotion etc and methods issues are one thing that you can specifically develop um, so do have a look and see what you can contribute as well as what Conquering could do for you.